Welcome back, guys. So we are in 2018 uh, Toyota Highlander XLE. We're going to work on the brakes, front and the rear. We're going to remove the old brake pads and the rotor. We're going to install a new one. So I'll show you step by step how to do so. Stay tuned, please. All right, guys. So first thing first, we're going to do remove this 18-inch uh, wheel. And I hate these uh, lock nuts. I don't know why. Well, anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the wheel and I'll be right back. All right, as you can see, so the wheel is off and you can see my rotor is very bad. Uh, but yeah, it was about time. Um, eventually, it didn't really last a uh, year. Uh, I think we, the dealer had put it on maybe sometime in uh, last November. So it hasn't been exactly an year, but they all gone, as you can see, you know pretty much it's all worn out now in order to remove this brake caliper what you're gonna need is uh, there's two bolts right here one 14 mm right here uh, one below here and there's this brake caliper board right here two of them one here one down there um, in order to remove them you're gonna need 17 mm socket all right so I'm gonna go ahead and start loosening this up then I'm gonna start loosening this up and I'll be right back. Stay tuned. Oh, before I do that, actually, I forgot. Um, you just want to go ahead and, you know, pry your brakes open. Um, so it will give you leverage. Um, just push them. Use a flathead screwdriver. Push it against your brake pads over here or in here. Um, it will give you some room. It will push the piston back in there. And that, that way, once you remove your bolts, it will be easy to slide out. All right. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so like again, uh, I'm working on the front one for now, and I have removed this 14 mm uh, bolt right here. It's out all the way. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna remove this brake caliper, put it on the side. Then I'm gonna go ahead and start losing the 17 mm bolt right there. And then just remove the whole bracket out, and then we can take out the uh, brake rotor, all right? So stay tuned, I'm gonna need both of my hands to remove this, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, as you can see, the brake caliper is sitting secure. Um, please make sure that you secure this, otherwise you don't want to break your brake line hose, okay? Uh, it's not leaking. I just, uh, <laughs> I don't know why. I was just kind of like, you know, testing it. But anyway, um, I'll just add some brake fluid later. Um, anywho, so once you get this brake caliper off, you gotta go ahead and remove these brake pads uh as you can see there's two pins in there um you can just remove the pins just like this all right take the other pin out uh please don't destroy them uh just in case if you do not get these pins included in your kit then you can definitely reuse them as long as they're not destroyed all right now we're gonna definitely take these uh brake pads out and it's kind of really jam in there so we're gonna, here we go here is my brake pad as you can see it's pretty beaten up um, no wonder I was having some trouble anyway so it was about time to change them uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that and take this one out too if I can do it there we go oh wow look at this one nasty you know pretty much gone oh. Is it kind of chipped looks like but anyway so now we're gonna go ahead and remove the 17 mm bolt one on top one at the bottom and then take this bracket off that way you have a clear and clean access to your rotor we will remove the rotor afterwards all right i'll be right back all right guys so the bracket is off now the only thing left to do is just take this uh rotor off of here Definitely it's not gonna come out easy because it's been sitting for more than a year on the in this position and it's as you can see uh, Kind of rust, but anyway um, So you're just gonna have to use some hammer um, Just use the hammer around this area like this area that area, but do not hit on your um, What you call them the studs, please be careful with that uh, otherwise you're gonna damage your wheel studs okay so just hammer here hammer here hammer here so it will come loose 
and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna start hammering, kill your ears. I'll be right back. All right, so it came loose. I just had to have her right in the center, right up here. So I just have her this, 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 and it came off. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a side-by-side -side parts comparison. So I'm gonna pull my new part, put on top of this to make sure everything is, is uh, according to the specs. There's no mismatch. And I'll be right back so we can do the part comparison. All right, guys, so this is my new rotor, brand new rotor, as you can see. It's sitting right on top. Everything looks exactly the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and you start putting this on up here. Then we're gonna slide the bracket on. Then we're gonna install the new brake pads and we are about done. Uh, so this is how you do the front um, rotor and the brake pad job on Toyota Highlander. It applies from, honestly, it applies from 2014, 13, something like that, to all the way to the newest model, all right? So stay tuned, I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, slide this on, then we're gonna go ahead and start uh, putting our um, new brake pads in there, all right? I'll be right back. All right guys, so before I move on, I just wanted to show you my new brake pads and old brake pads. As you can see, there's a huge, huge difference. Um, the worn out dead brake pads versus the brand new one, right? Um, I did took, take off this uh, side clip right here, which was actually on the old one. They were uh, just fine. Uh, my new kit didn't come with them, so I can re reuse them. And the brake bracket, I mean the caliper bracket. Um, so as you can see, these sides right there, I would highly recommend just use the wire brush, clean them off so it will be free of debris or any rust or anything in there. Uh, clean them off and then just, you know, brush them off and then you can slide it back on. Uh, as you can see, that's my new rotor. It looks very beautiful. Uh, I purposely got them the slotted, drill slotted one. Um, so my wheels don't get dirty and all that, you know? Um, supposed to be better too, by the way, with the friction and all that. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, clean this off with the wire brush and then slide these uh, bracket on top of this new rotor, put the 17 mm bolts, and then slide the new brake pads into it. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, guys, so the new rotor is on. I put one of the bolt, uh, the lug nut back here just to secure this uh, rotor. Now, so I got these 17 mm bolts back in it so the bracket is good uh, and secure. Now I was just trying to uh, make sure everything fits right. So just to show you, so once you get your bracket on, the brake caliper bracket on, uh, all you wanna do is, let me take this out so I can show you how to slide in your brake pad. All right, so let's say this is how you have it. And all you wanna do, you wanna, there's a pin at the bottom, right? So you wanna slide this in, right in that slot. I hope you can see it. And from the top right there, all you wanna do, align this. Let me just go ahead and put this in from the bottom first. Okay. Now you just wanna go ahead and press it in and you just want to be careful you don't want to hurt your hands okay sorry i'm working with one hand so it makes it a little difficult but let me show you one more time let me go back into it sorry here there's my focus there's my focus all right so there you go almost there just bear with me there all right so as you see i slide it in like this okay and now the top part is automatically gonna slide in. There, and it fits, okay? So that's exactly how you're gonna do the back one. And then once we're done with that, then we're gonna go ahead, you know, push the piston back, uh, the brake caliper piston back in there. I'll show you how to do that. And then you can slide your brake caliper back on it. And then you put your tire back on. All right, I'm sorry guys, I forgot about the pins. Um, so just wanted to show you before I move on to the uh, rear wheel, okay? Um, so you have this fender, remember we removed them. So all you wanna do is just, there's holes as you can see right there and then over there. You wanna insert them into the holes just like this and like right there, there you go. And that's it. Same thing you're gonna do with the bottom one. You're gonna just insert that into the right place 
which is I can see so it's actually right here sorry out of the focus where's my freaking focus here and then there there you go so your pins are back in you are good to go the only thing left for us is just go ahead you know install the 14 mm bolts here uh, before I do that, I'm just gonna use some grease on them and uh, slide this brake caliber on. Again, um, if you don't know how to pr uh, how to uh, push the piston back, just use a C clamp. I hope uh, before you start doing this job, you have a C clamp just like this. So you use a C clamp to push the piston back, and then it will slide on to this. And you just put your 14 mm bolts here and tie everything up. Uh, and then you just put your tire back on and you are done with the front and then we're gonna move on to the rear wheel All right, I'll be right back. All right guys as you can see my pistons are pushed in all the way And again, I'm working with one hand. It makes everything so difficult. I'm sorry And if I'm out of the focus We're just trying to slide on this freaking brake caliper on the brake pads Right there Almost there It's just kind of stuck in there so I'm just gonna have to um, maneuver this, all right? And let me just go ahead and pull this out. Sorry about the uh, losing the focus here. All right, so I'm gonna really need both of my hands um, so I can slide this bastard on. But once I slide it on, we're just gonna go ahead and you know tie up the 14 mm bolts, and then we are done. All right, I'll be right back. All right, fellas, so just wanted to show you how everything looks like uh, before I put the tire back on. By the way, I just added some grease there just for, um, I guess, to prevent from rust and friction. Um, time to remove this lug nut and we're gonna go ahead and install our tire. Um, let me take that off. Come on, bastard. There we go. All right, so as you can see, everything is good. Tighten up all the way and we are good. The new rotor and brakes look beautiful. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the tire on it and then move to the rear wheel, okay? Stay tuned, please. All right, guys, so just removed the rear wheel. Um, as you can see, all my rotors and brake pads are very bad. So it, it, it lasted almost like, you know, 11 months, which is not bad. Uh, we barely use this uh, vehicle for family. Uh, just for kids or family whenever we go out on the weekend um, however so I'm gonna go ahead and start removing uh, again 14 mm bolt right there one and two at the bottom and then 17 right there one and second one at the bottom once you remove them your brake caliper out then you break uh, uh, the, the caliper bracket out then you're gonna slide your brake pads out same thing we're gonna repeat Take the old rotor out, put the new rotor back in, and then we will match the parts and install the new parts. All right, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna go ahead and start removing this 14 mm right on top, then um, remove this caliper off of here and hang it securely. Um, again, please remember safety first, always use jack stand. Uh, don't rely on these jacks because they are hydraulic jacks. They tend to go bad and then uh you don't you don't want to risk your life or anything okay please make sure that you secure your vehicle with the jack stands always or ramps uh depending what you're working on all right i'll be right back all right guys so i just removed the uh brake caliper and the brake uh bracket so as you can see from the back you know now i'm gonna go ahead and hammer this son of a bitch out uh because kind of stuck in there of course so you want to hammer this corner that corner this corner and that should come right out uh, please remember you don't want to hit your um, studs otherwise you're gonna damage them and then you're gonna have to really really spend so much time and money if you don't know how to do it then you're gonna spend money but if you do know how to do it then you're gonna spend a lot of time uh, installing new studs anyway all right Okay, so I'm gonna get this out so we can do side-by-side -side part comparison and then we will install the new uh, parts on it. Okay, stay tuned. 
All right, guys, so this is my old router. Apparently, it's the original one. Uh, never got changed. So we, this is my new one, much better looking. So we're gonna go ahead and, you know, clean this off, uh, clean the rig caliper, put the push, push the piston back on, install the uh, caliper bracket, and then slide the new pads into it and put everything back together. Uh, shouldn't take another 10 or 15 minutes so, and we should be all caught up with there. Thank you. All right, guys, so we got the uh, brake I mean the caliper bracket off. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and slide in my new brake pad into it. So again, please remember, this is your new brake pad, right? So it has this pin. So you wanna slide this pin at the bottom and then you will slide the top part into the right area accordingly, okay? So there we go. Here nice and beautiful all right so same thing i'm gonna do from the back end and the last thing for us is left just go ahead and you know before you um let's say you're gonna start the engine you're gonna pump the brake uh before you hit the road just pump two three time at least so you know the brake fluid circulates and then brakes is working as it should be um so this is how you do your front and the rear brake rotors and brake pass on toyota highlander and I hope you will give us a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Be a part of our community. Let me know in the comments if you had any challenge or you had a different efficient way to do it. And I will continue to make more videos for you. Take care. Bye-bye.